Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. And in today's video, we're going to show you how to set up a virtual private network VPN on your iPhone in minutes. So let's get started. First, let's talk about why you might want to use a VPN. A VPN is a secure connection that encrypts your data and hides your IP address. This means that when you're connected to the internet, your data is kept safe from hackers and other malicious actors. It also means that your online activities are hidden from your internet server provider, ISP, and other third parties. Now that you know why you might need a VPN, we will start with the setup. There are many options available, so it is recommended to do your research and find one that fits your needs. But since finding a VPN that fits you best is not an easy task, we will share our top picks based on our own testing later on. So keep watching till the end. Also, if at any point you have to give any of these VPNs a try, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below to help you save some extra money. Once you've chosen a provider, sign up for their server and download their app onto your iPhone. Once the app is installed, open it and log in with your credentials. You'll be asked to enter some information about yourself, such as your name and email address. Once you've done that, you'll be asked to choose a server location. This will determine which country your data will be routed through when you're connecting to the internet. When you finish setting up your VPN, you can connect to it by tapping the connect button in the app. Once you're connected, all of your data will be encrypted and routed through the server locations you chose earlier. This means that your online activity will be hidden from ISP and other third parties. Now that you understand how to set up a VPN on your iPhone, let's dive into our top VPNs picks for you. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch. They're excellent for torrenting and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video, and that's why these are my favorite three. But depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'll explain why. Starting with ExpressVPN, and this is going to be the one to get if you're looking for the best, overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN, and it has the most verified no locks policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test, proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries, allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so, ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is, and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest level of reliability, Express is our trusty go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN, and Nord is what I consider the best value VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help your speed and latency especially if you want a VPN for gaming, or if you want extra features such as threat protection, which blacks ads, malware-ridden websites, as well as protects your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from. Especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance, and will let you secure up to 6 devices per subscription, as opposed to ExpressVPN's 5 device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then Nord will be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is our pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. Also, you still get some bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as a no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're trying to use a VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you want a VPN that allows you to secure all your devices, or if you have a large family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these VPNs are definitely the best in the business. ExpressVPN is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity, and it's perfect for those that are privacy conscious. 
and are looking for the best VPN overall. Now, NordVPN is a well-rounded, high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as strong encryption, secure torrenting and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is a truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessarily security features that you usually get with a more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you can share it around with as many of your friends and family as you like, which is a great plus. And that's it for this video. Again, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions, as I love getting to interact with you guys. And like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful or would like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.